Hey girl, and welcome back to my channel, Parenting with Purpose. I'm Christian, and this past week, uh, something took place between me and my son, and I really just wanted to share it with you um, about what happened. So, you know, the semester is winding down. I think I mentioned it before to you that um, in this season of my life, I'm in graduate school, and I also homeschool uh, my son, and I also have this YouTube channel that God um, led me to start. So it's been a challenge, um, especially because this semester is beginning to wind down, which, you know, when the semester starts to wind down, um, the homework level, the homework load begins to pick up because you have finals coming up that you have to study for. You have um, papers that, you know, have to be complete. And so um, it's just been a lot. And, you know, this past week, my son came up to me while I was on a computer and he says, we haven't been spending a lot of time together. And for some people that may sound all, but for me, it really was like a gut punch. Um, it really was because I do my best to spend time with my son, um, but I didn't realize how the workload had, you know, started taking me away and how I was just really focused. Um, I was laser, laser focused on, you know, just getting the work done, trying to get things, trying to get assignments in ahead of time so that I won't be cramming uh, at the last minute. So it was really like a gut punch to me um, but it was something that I feel is valuable, that I believe is valuable to share with you because a lot of times when you hear, if you hear uh, a child, you know, if you hear someone's child say, oh, well, we want to spend time, number one, let's, let's roll it back. <laughs> it is rare for you to hear that, um, for you to hear a child say, I don't think we're spending enough time together to their parent, right? I know when I was growing up, I didn't really hear those words and I didn't think to even tell my mom, um, my mom and my dad, I don't think we're spending enough time together. I don't know what their response would have been, so I can't say, um, but those words never came to me. I didn't really think to say it, to express myself in that manner. Uh, However, I am grateful. I am very grateful that um, my son and I have that safe space where he feels comfortable to come to me and say, I don't feel like we're spending, like we've been spending enough time together. And which is true. Um, but there are two things that I uh, wanted to share with you. I'm just looking down at my notes, so I apologize. But two things that I wanted to share with you. Um, the first thing I, you know, I spoke to him I, in my response. Um, I said, really? Because, I mean, to me, I thought we were spending time together, like maybe watching a movie. I know it's different because, you know, I'm doing homework and um, I still have to cook and just trying to keep everything afloat, right? I said, but for you, what is it that you would like to do? What is it, you know, um, that maybe you think that you're missing out on? Um, we're not spending time together. And so he gave me a few things. And um, so I went ahead and I realized I needed to carve out some time. I needed to be more intentional, especially even though this is, this, you know, the semester is uh, winding down. Yes, it's true. And it's also true that my time is very limited right now. But what I don't want is for my son to feel like it's a safe space and I neglect it. I ignore the fact that he's wanting to spend time. That's what I do not want, right? So I value the fact that he came to me. Um, so I did let him know, okay, well, 
I'll be more intentional about carving out time to spend with you, uh, to spend time with you. Number two, I also realized that I didn't, maybe I didn't communicate effectively to my son that the semester is beginning to wind down. My school is totally different <laughs> from me homeschooling him. So um, that was the second part of it is that I didn't communicate effectively to him before the semester is winding down. So my time is going to be a bit limited. Uh, and so whereas we were spend you know time throughout the week and the weekends i may just have to wait till the weekends for this month because this is the month of finals and then we hit summer and then i'll have a little bit more uh flexibility and so i had to explain that to him i had to communicate to him what this looks like and just because you see me on the computer um just because you see me kind of laser focused doesn't mean that I love you any less it doesn't mean that I don't want to spend time with you it just simply means that I have to balance spending time with you and also getting the you know my assignments in um, before the deadline um, so that was a lesson for me but I also believe that that was a lesson for my son because he started asking questions about well what's a deadline you know so it was just that open dialogue that we had um, whereas I could have gotten upset and I've known you know some people who have gotten upset or maybe have um, taken it as a joke that their child says I don't feel like we've been spending enough time together <clears throat> and so um, I didn't get upset. I didn't take it as a joke. Again, I value that. Um, but also understanding this is a teaching moment. He has to, my son has to understand that I too am in school and that I also have assignments that I need to complete. Um, it doesn't mean that, it doesn't mean that I don't love you. It doesn't mean that I don't care about you it just simply means that mommy has to get her work done and that's it um, but it also lets me know that I need to be more intentional about again communicating um, but then also carving out that time um, maybe going to the park something that I um, did recently was instead of just staying in so I can get my homework done and then taking him to the park. How about taking him to the park while I take my work there with me so we can kill two birds and one stone, come home and I don't have to worry about still getting work done. I can just focus on relaxing at that at that time. So I just want to come in and share this, um, this valuable piece of information with you um, if you know someone who can use this information go ahead and share it with them um, if you have not subscribed to this channel go ahead and click the like button but also click the subscribe button and click the notification bell uh, so that you don't miss another video and I will see you in the next video thanks